So thus far, we, we've taken a look at the predominant riff in the song, which is pretty difficult, but really the same notes are being recycled. You're playing this, this long um, bending note upward, followed by this percussive riff. And then he continues, he continues that when he starts singing the lyrics. the one thing right so that's a very easy kind of to understand the first two parts and I have it laid out there if you have the ebook with you so the next portion what we're gonna look at is when he actually really sings and rings out the notes in the E blue scale and it's the portion of the song um, that goes like this that makes me sing the blues That's what we're going to look at here. So if you haven't studied the E blue scale, I have it um, transcribed at the beginning of this ebook. It's very important to learn because it, it reappears over and over again in um, R.L. Burnside's playing. So in this part where he goes, that make me sing the blues. Alright, that's what we're going to play here. So uh, what you have here is a series of um, eight notes, um, and, and they're going to be played like this. The first five notes will be like this. That make me sing. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the second string open as your first note. Then you're going to go to the second string, third fret. Then you're going to play the open string and the bottom string three times. All right, so all together the five notes will be like this. One, two, three, four, five. That make me. That make gonna go to this next series of notes. So now we played the first five notes there. I'm gonna move along to the next five notes. And the next five notes will start on the uh, second fret third string. Then you'll play the third string open. And then you'll play the top string open. Followed by the third fret top string resolving in the fourth string second fret sing the blues so all together um, the the ten notes will sound like this that make me sing the blues that make me does this little riff um, is something that he uses to end the lyrics and again this is what you hear in um, a lot of um, recycled music repeated music like uh, Muddy Waters is two trains rolling well there's two two trains running You know, they keep recycling this E blue scale, and you hear it over and over again in the music. That's why I made it an effort to emphasize its importance relative to what we're studying here. All right, so we've got those first 10 notes down. And again, he, he continues with the, the same melodic riff as he continues on in the lyrics. And then he goes on to say, I ain't gonna bother man. So again, it's a repeat. Those ten notes is where he's singing the lyrics. 
and you, you can follow along easily with the original recording. So I'm going to play it one more, one last time really slow so you can follow along. So here we go. One, two, three, four. That make me sing the blues. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, he's extracting out notes from the E blue scale. So now we can kind of continue to the, um, the rest of the song, which is this predominant riff on the bass strings of the E blue scale. This is something that he does um, in ensuingly right after he um, starts singing out that part of the song. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and shoot and focus to. Another pretty easy concept to learn. However, this song is played extremely fast, so it's gonna take a lot of uh, kind of skill and effort to get the timing down right. So the next portion here, as we continue on in the lesson, we'll look at this um, riff on the the bass strings of this E blue scale and then we'll wrap it up